Hey, good morning people. How are you all doing? Today I want to do uh, two videos back to back and uh, one is male fragrance, other one is a uh, women's perfume. So the <clears throat> first uh, episode, this one I'm doing the classic one first from Jean-Paul Gaultier. And as you can see, this is the fragrance. It's a rose gold sort of a tin can, the typical of uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier. I do not own anything from this house, uh, I mean from women's side. I have actually uh, a lot of Lamal Planker. This is the Essence last one I bought in 2016 that was the release that time and they actually come out with much more modern and beautiful looking bottle so i have tried the original classic and the one i'm having today is a 2017 limited edition right this one this is 100 ml i don't know if there's any other bottle sizes and this is not my bottle i bought it from my friend and we i reviewed for it that's the whole purpose so i have it sprayed on the paper for some time I have the dry down here and uh, let's talk about the whole fragrance and presentation, uh, price point, uh, performance, season, who who is it for, stuff like that. So I believe this women's perfume you can take a look at if you see somewhere. It is actually a nice fragrance, okay. So this is a 2017 limited time edition, limited release or whatever and the perfumer for this is Jacques Cavalier, okay, very renowned perfumer. And it comes in EDP concentration and as I told you, I do not know if there's a smaller bottle than this but I have seen this is 100 ml and I was not quite sure because uh, usually the Jean-Paul Gaultier men's line they come in like a 125 and 75 ml and sometimes 50 ml okay and they have maybe bigger bottle size like 200 ml I don't know so this one I just think there's only 100 ml of it I could be wrong you can correct me in the bottom so the fragrance the presentation is really beautiful it's almost it's same tin can as uh, Lamal line okay if you know Lamal line this has this beautiful tin can kind of cool and it says the name Jean Paul Gaultier, the house, you know. And the fragrance name is classic, very nice, uh, rose gold, sort of like uh, phone colors you see in like iPhone or something up there, like this bottom. There's some more information is provided here. Uh, so, this one I saw one time <laughs> this funny thing one of the kids is from UK, he was uh, doing unboxing of this, uh, not this fragrance, Lamal probably. He took a can opener <laughs> and he cut this whole like not can opener it's like tin cutter or something he just cut it around it to open later I realized from bottom it opens also that was funny so <laughs> do not do it like him uh, open it from bottom it has this nice sort of a stand for the bottle and the bottle is really pretty i'll sh show you it says jean paul inside uh, jean paul uh, detailing is there and then it holds the bottle and inside there is a holder for the bottle uh, head so the thing is the fragrance doesn't move around that much but this uh, this this uh, type of uh, packaging if it's not uh, let's say if you're traveling with it, you have to be very careful because it sometimes comes off from the bottle so it's it clicks on but uh, not the most secure for me so bottle is like this okay this is the first time I'm uh, re reviewing a classic series because they have lots and lots of them in this line so this one has really beautiful bottle just like a women's one like if you see like next to men's one it, it, this one is more masculine, this is more feminine, as you can see from the torso, women's torso. And the side is very, very uh, classy, sort of a lady. And it's, I think the red, it's uh, it's kind of like a dress they're trying to put on the bottle. It looks like corset, actually, to be honest. I'm not sure, it could be wrong. I'm not very um, experienced with those, but uh, it's, it could be a lingerie or it could be like a corset. So it's kind of like a very sexy uh, kind of packaging. The red is really beautiful. It has a nice topper. It says, uh, you know, like pull here. So it, it comes off and then you can spray just like any other uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrances. So it just comes off, the whole thing comes off and you remain with this bottle. So it's really beautiful Look to look at. If you're a collector as a lady, you can definitely get this bottle. Bottom is your uh, information. So I have it on the paper and this fragrance is strong okay this is really strong i would recommend just go one spray to two spray maximum it will last the whole day if you wear too much of it you're gonna regret it now uh, seasons for it i think it's winter and fall and uh, i suggest this fragrance for the nighttime outing it will be perfect it will be very mysterious in cold weather it's night time when it's a little bit breeze daytime when the sun is up in the summers it might come off too powdery because it has a note of rose as you can see the red color yes it represents rose as well so the top notes in this are rose rum and mandarin orange uh, the meat you get narcissus and uh, orchid florals and then base you get vanilla amber tonka and sandalwood so this fragrance 
uh, the performance of it, first of all, let me tell you, it's crazy good. It's uh, it's gonna last on you like Jean Paul Gaultier classic line. They usually last very long time. This fragrance will do the same. It will last 10 hours plus on your skin, easy. Okay, so wear with caution. And uh, application I told you already, not more than two sprays. One spray would actually do fantastic, fantastic. If you just wear it on your hair, it will just uh, project through all night, all day, right? So the usual classic one, I just tried the original classic, the pink, light pink, pink bottle. I really wanted to get it because it's intensely sweet fragrance and I love sweet fragrance. If I may show you, I love sweet fragrances like Angel Muse. I like, you know, I have few. I don't have a lot from women's line. I have Angel. Then I have, this is a little bit different though, Alien. And then I love fragrances like Jean Paul House. They have uh, one other scandal. Then there is Mon Guerlain. There is a lot of sweet fragrances. Like it's a trend. Sweet fragrances are a trend. And this is something that actually follows the trend of sweet fragrances like Flower Balm. If you know uh, what is it? Armani C. That one also has a rose base. So if you love those fragrances, uh, kind of sweet, gourmand territory, this is another gourmand fragrance. Gourmand floral. Okay. Okay. Why am I calling this a gourmand? Because the top, top at the top, what you get. Uh, let's let's spray this. Why not? I am a little bit brave. I'm not scared to spray this. Spray, let me show the spray. Okay, that is a full spray. You can spray a little bit as well, so that'll be half the distance and just a tiny bit of it. So this fragrance, it's if you are not a lover of rose, sweet, loud fragrances, powdery fragrances, maybe call it a pass. This is not for you. This is right like a nuclear sort of a fragrance. You just spray it in, you know, that jammy, beautiful rose with a little bit of boozy, uh, mandarin orange will just hit you on the face I do get those three notes right up there and it is kind of like a very very sweet uh, syrupy powdery sort of rose and it's really gorgeous let me tell you during the Christmas time if you're wearing this perfect that's the time you need some sweetness in your life I think this is perfect for November December that that sort of our time and uh, it's really beautiful the rose note is really gorgeous the opening is very beautiful but and the uh, Afterwards, the dry down, it goes a little bit different. The rose will persist, but I think it will get more powdery with time. It's going to be like tonka bean and sandalwood. And there's also, I think, amber. I did not detect an amber in this. Sandalwood, vanilla, and tonka. These three will take over the base. At the meat, you get the orchid note. You know, this one floral. I did not, I'm not going to say I got the orchid from it because I do not know what orchid smells like in a fragrance because when I smell the real flower, orchid didn't give out any smell. I don't know which uh, particular orchid note in this, but... Uh, they say it's orchid and narcissus so both of these floral notes i'm not familiar with so i'm not gonna say i know but it smells uh from rose it gets uh from jammy rose it starts getting a little bit powdery okay and then it gets mixes with that vanilla sandalwood tonka bean and creates this beautiful powdery thick you know uh scent on your skin so you would like to not do this what i did just now spray it from a little bit far i would say uh, ideal would be hold it here spray it in the air and you catch it on larger surface on your area like this area if you really want to project or if you just want to like you know not be so loud near your nose you just do it like here and just carry it somewhere under your chest under your shoulder this area or you can wear it behind your hair so that will also be nice it will be behind you no problem so this is i something i would recommend to younger girls younger ladies this is very flirty a kind of a fragrance a sensual flirty and sweet it's kind of like you know, like uh, uh, it's inviting, you know, it's it's almost like if you're wearing this and it's kind of ladies I see it's attention seeking women. This will bring you attention like bees towards the honey, right? Uh, so very flirtatious, very, as you can see from the bottle, they're trying to achieve that as well. So if you're looking for a formal, more uh, mask, mature scent, this is not a very mature scent. It doesn't have quite the maturity about it. It's very young at heart. It's very flirtatious. The rose, it's really, really... Uh, it's it's nice but it's very loud so it will it will actually be leaving a huge central near the whole alley or something okay so yeah overall longevity great projection great 10 in both both areas okay the bottle itself presentation i really like it it looks really really pretty and it's a very girly kind of fragrance guys i don't think would be interested unless you love rose note a lot this is very de definitely a feminine fragrance okay uh date is definitely a great time to wear it and clubbing would be a great time as well so this is a great fragrance uh, even though it's limited time release you can take a look at it uh, it's a nice floral sort of like a 
you know powdery sort of a scent right so uh this fragrance uh, for sorry so one detail i didn't forget to show you at the back if you notice it says galtier and even the dress it's it has nice stitching pattern right? that's pretty cool that's pretty cool okay so it's kind of like a collector's item for sure so this fragrance is for uh collectors honestly speaking if you have been a fan of classic this is one nice release but it's if you're not a fan of loud fragrances powdery fragrances perhaps call it a pass it is definitely in the sweet category so for this fragrance i'll give it like for what it is eight out of ten okay presentation smell i really like it but it doesn't have so much transformation here and there it just stays pretty linear on the dry down powdery rose sandalwood tonka bean tonka bean heavy fragrance okay modern day fragrance so 8 out of 10 for classic EDP and this is the limited edition for 2017. See you soon. Have a very nice day. Bye-bye.